What is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Predator 2 Series 5 Stalker Predator figure. <laughs> Today, I found this stalker predator figure when I was on vacation visiting my girlfriend. She took me to two local comic book shops over there, and I found this one at the first comic book shop I went to. I was really, really happy when I saw this figure there because this was going to be the next predator figure that I was going to order online because I've been dying to get this one. So, really cool that I found this predator figure there. But anyway, let me show you guys the packaging first, and we'll get into the figure review. So the Stalker Predator figure comes in the basic NECA Predator packaging. This is the Predator 2 packaging because you get the picture of the City Hunter Predator right there looking really cool. On the top right says Stalker Predator. On the bottom you get a really cool image of the figure right there. It says Stalker Predator, Predator 2. Over 25 points of articulation. Includes collapse spear accessory. And there is a smart disc as well. And then the back of the packaging right there you get another really cool image of the figure right there. It says Stalker Predator, Predator 2. Aliases, Baby Boar and Brother Boar, Weapons, Throwing Disc, and Combo Stick, and then the other figures in Series 5 right there, which I think are other uh, two other members from uh, the Lost Tribe, I think they're called. And then if you would like to read the bio, pause it right now, and you can read it because the Predator bios are really, really cool. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get the figure open and get into the review. Alrighty, so starting off with the accessories first for Stalker Predator. He really doesn't come with too many accessories. You do get a smart disc and the collapsed spear. I'll show you guys the smart disc first. A uh, basic smart disc that comes with any Predator figure that is included with this accessory. I really like the small sculpt detail on it. It looks really, really cool. And it does, uh, you just put the fingers in the slots here, just however you can on the open hand right there, his left hand. I really like the gold color with a little bit of black wash in it. It looks really, really cool. Very nice gold color right there. And then on the other side, it's like a darker color. Like they uh, put more black on it. Looks like a little bit of gray as well. But really cool looking. You get that smart disc. It is supposed to fit in his holster right here. But if you have Predator figures, any of these, you know they don't fit at all. They are practically impossible to get them to stay in there. You just got to kind of... Hold it in there and see if it'll stay if you're lucky enough. And then uh, he also comes with this collapsed spear right here, which looks really, really nice, actually. I really like the way this looks. Very nice sculpt work by uh, NECA right here. I prefer this one uh, over the extended one. I think this one looks a lot better. Focus camera, you bloody bastard. And I like right here, you can see, like, the uh, buttons, and it's in, like, Predator language. Little red buttons. Really, really cool looking. It's like a uh, goldish color and brown and black in there, so pretty cool looking, you get that. And then he does come with like a pouch. It looks really, really cool actually. It's all like beaten up and raggedy and stuff. Really cool looking. So you get that. You can take it off if you want. And then he does come with a really cool necklace with two like little bones on the sides of it. And then he has like a medallion right there. I think that's his mask on there. Which is really, really cool. I thought that was pretty cool. I noticed that it was a uh, Predator mask, and I'm pretty sure it is his Predator mask. But uh, those are all the accessories for Stalker Predator. Anyway, let's move on to some comparisons. Now, moving on to comparisons. Stalker Predator stands a little bit over 8 inches tall, so he is a little taller than other Predator figures, which is fine. But over here we have the SH Figure Arts Vegito figure. He stands a little over 6 inches tall to the top of his Super Saiyan hair. And then there is Stalker compared to his tribe leader, the Elder Predator version 2. And he's a little bit under 8 inches tall, but he's a little bit taller than 7 inches and 3 quarters of an inch. He's like in between it, but he is a little shorter than Stalker Predator. And then there he is compared to Wasp Predator, which is pretty much the classic Predator body mold and stuff. And this figure stands 7 inches and 3 quarters of an inch tall. 
And then there he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Broccoli figure, and he stands a little over 9 inches tall to the top of his crazy Super Saiyan hair. But anyway, there's some comparisons, let's keep moving on! So now moving on to the paint and sculpt for Stalker Predator. I think NECA did a really great job with this figure. I really love the uh, coloring they chose for the skin for this Predator. I think it looks really cool. I like how it's very, not like white, but like a very light beige. And then it bleeds into like an orange and like a brownish type color. I think that looks really cool. The mask is definitely my favorite part. I love the wrappings on the forearms right there. I like how on the bicep these kind of look like veins, those uh, brown uh, lines right there. And I really like this uh, black um, like stripe going down the center of his back, and then it kind of bleeds out a little bit on each side of his back right there. It looks really, really cool. And I like how they gave him like a um, like a wet type look on his skin. Kind of looks like a reptilian, like like a, he's wettish a little bit. Really cool looking. Let me show you guys a closer look at this badass mask right here, which is definitely my favorite part of the figure. I really like it because it is like very classic looking. But it is a little different in Stalker Predator's own way, which I think is really cool. It's very menacing and mean looking. Really badass looking Predator mask. I like on the sides. Kind of looks like teeth right there. That looks really, really cool. I mean, NECA did a really great job with the paint and sculpt on this mask. Kind of gave it that shiny type look. It's weird. It looks like it's a... Uh, like a very dark gold with like gray and black mixed in it. I really like that um color that they chose for the mask and the armor pieces. Very, very nice looking. Really, really cool looking mask right there. You got the black eyes that look really, really awesome too. And you got his predator dreads right there. Kind of short, not that long, but they're pretty cool looking. Oh, whoa, light. And then over here we have his medallion that I think looks really, really cool. Focus your bloody camera. There we go. You got the armor on his shoulder right there. And then the other one. This one goes more down his arm a little bit. It is softer. He's got his pouch right there as well. Really great sculpt work and paint on this Predator figure. I really like the wrappings around his forearm right here. Really, really cool looking. Show you a little closer look at it. He's got like bones right there. Some trophies. It's really, really cool looking. Just just this piece on his forearm is just really, really cool looking. And then the one on this forearm looks pretty cool. It's just like one piece wrapped around his uh, forearm. As you see, it's like uh, laced up right here and tied, so that's pretty cool. And he has like a this piece on his loincloth. And he's got the pouch over here. I think I already said that. The pouch looks really cool. I kind of showed it in the accessories. Doesn't really have much on the loincloth. You get a uh, predator butt right there. He's wearing a thong for some reason. Don't know why. <laughs> then he has a uh, armor piece on his thigh right there. And then he doesn't have an armor piece, but he has the holster for the smart disc. That doesn't even hold the smart disc correctly. So if anyone has like the Lost Tribe Predator figures, you know none of them can really hold the um, smart disc in its holster. But the holster is very cool looking. Very nice brown color they chose for like the loin cloth and uh, the holster right here in his bag. And the legs right there, the insides of them are like that very light, like a uh, beige type color. And then it go, bleeds into the orange and like brownish type color. Mostly orange on this one, I don't really see brown. And then you get the uh, knee guards right there, the knee armor. I really like the color of his armor, how it's like a very dark gold. And then they put like a black wash in it, or gray wash. And there's the uh, leg armor right there, looking pretty cool. And of course, his predator toes, and he is not wearing predator sandals. Got peg holes as well, but very, very cool looking predator figure. I think they did a great job with this figure, even though he's very, like, plain, he doesn't have uh, much armor or anything, but still a really awesome looking predator figure. Let's get into the articulation and wrap the review up. Alright, so for Stalker Predator's articulation, he has the basic NECA Predator articulation. His head is on a ball joint, it does go up and down, you get great pivot, and then it does swivel as well. The waist is on a ball joint, which I like a lot more than just having the swivel, because you can make it go back and forward, it can pivot, and it does swivel as well, so that is cool. 
then the shoulders go up pretty much 90 degrees. They do go up and down. It is a single bend at the elbow. The bend's about 45 degrees, and then it does swivel as well. His uh, wrist is on a ball joint, so he can move it all around, swivel or whatever. He can get good articulation right there. And then the legs are on ball joints as well. He does kick forward a little more than 90 degrees, so that's good. He kicks back about that much. And then he can do some kung fu kicks pretty good out to the side, a little more than 90 degrees. And then it does swivel up there as well. You get the double jointed knees that bend back a really good amount. And then, of course, you get a ball joint in the um, ankle right here. You do get pivoted, swivels, goes up and down. You get great movement right there. So, great articulation for this NECA Predator figure. I do like it. This is the better uh, articulation just because he has the ball joint in the waist instead of just a swivel right there. But... Overall, I do recommend the Stalker Predator figure. It's not a must-get figure for your collection, but if you love NECA's Predator figures, especially the Predator 2 Lost Tribe figures, definitely get this one for your collection. You will need him if you're completing the Lost Tribe Predators from Predator 2. He is one of my favorite Lost Predator figures as well. Um, the accessories are really limited. All you get is the Collapsed Spear and the Smart Disc. He does have a holster for the smart disc, but the problem with that is these holsters, for some reason, do not hold in these smart discs. I don't know why. I don't know if NECA even tried it before they um, decided to use it, but that's the only problem with that holster. But the smart disc is cool looking. It is pretty much a basic uh, accessory for a Predator figure. I do really, really like this collapsed spear, though. I like this one a lot better than the... Um, extended spear. I think it looks a lot cooler. I like how you can see the uh, little predator language right there, the red dots and stuff, so I think that's really awesome. I like the cool little bag he has, and I also really love this medallion around his neck right there. It's kind of being covered, but I think that's really, really cool. And the articulation is very well done on this predator figure. He does have some pretty good NECA predator articulation. And I do like it more than other Predator uh, figures because he has the ball joint at the waist instead of just the basic swivel because you get a little bit more articulation there, which is pretty cool. But definitely, I think I, I think the best part of this figure is the paint and sculpt, just the detail on this figure. I think NECA did a really great job on this figure with the paint and the sculpt, even though he doesn't have much. If you just look at all the small things like the wrist piece, the mask, you do really appreciate NECA's sculpt work and their paint work. Really, really cool piece right here. I got mine for about 25 or 30 bucks at a local comic book shop, so you might get lucky and find one there. I'm really surprised I did because I think he's from Series 5 or something like that, which is actually, they're going to be up to Series 14, so it's kind of rare that I did find this figure at a local comic book shop. But that's where I got this. If you guys want to get yours, he's between, like, I think 30 to 35 bucks on Amazon and eBay, so you can get this figure for your collection if you would like to. But, um, anyway, guys, that is my review of the NECA Stalker Predator figure. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then, oh, well, I don't really care. But, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. taking a look at the NECA Predator 2 series. Fuck, I forgot. I went to two different comic books. Blah, 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 blah. This is the Predator 2 packaging because you get a picture of the City Hunter Predator. Predator blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, so for Stalker Predators are... Uh, predator? What? So now moving on to... Oh, uh, damn it. Comparisons. Shit. Top of his Super Saiyan hair. And then the... Uh, there... Uh, blah, blah.